Grenada, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and Halloween are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is October 25th, 2021. It is the 298th day of the year. We got 67 days left in 2021. It is the 43rd Monday in the 44th week. We got 57 days left until winter. If today's your birthday, you're a Scorpio. Today is Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day. Yes, they gave him a day. Chucky the Notorious Killer Doll Day is observed annually on October 25th. You know, kind of close to Halloween, so it's fitting. For those of you who aren't fans of Chucky, it, he's this doll that goes around that he came to life and he starts killing people. They made quite a few movies with him in it. I've watched a few of them. I enjoyed them. I'm not into scary movies, but for some reason, those ones are freaking entertaining. They've kind of gotten low budget, it seems like, or just kind of, I don't know. The original ones were better. Now they're just kind of redoing the same stuff. The original movie featuring Chucky came out in 1988, and it was called Child's Play. Then they had Child's Play 2, 3, and then they switched to Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Vacation Slide, Chucky. It's just Chucky Invaders. They've just been getting out of hand. But in 2019, they had a remake of Child's Play. Jennifer Tilly's been in some of them, and I love her. She's great. All right, let's see what else happened on October 25th, 1920. After a 74-day hunger strike in Brixton Prison in England, Sinn Féin Lord Mayor of Cork, Terence McSweeney, dies. If you ever want to learn about something interesting, look up Sinn Féin. It's an Irish political party that's got a pretty interesting history. They were formed in 1905, and actually the word Sinn Féin is Irish for ourselves or we ourselves. But a lot of people think it means ourselves alone, but no, originally it was ourselves or we ourselves. 1940, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. is named the first African-American general in the United States Army. 1945, 50 years of Japanese administration of Taiwan formally ends when the Republic of China assumes control. And they're still at odds on who really owns it. Taiwan wants their own, you know, destiny and China says, no, you're actually part of us. It's weird. I don't understand the whole thing, but it's always in the news these days. 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Adelaide Stevenson, who was a great politician, shows the United Nations Security Council reconnaissance photographs of Soviet ballistic missiles in Cuba. To this point, Cuba and the Soviet Union are all, we don't know what you're talking about. There's no missiles there. And then they show up with pictures and they're like, oh, yeah, well, that's something else. I think that kind of technology kind of caught them off guard, the Soviets at least. 1971, the People's Republic of China replaces the Republic of China at the United Nations. This was kind of a big deal for the time. 1983, the United States and its Caribbean allies invade Grenada, six days after Prime Minister Maurice Bishop and several of his supporters are executed in a coup d'etat. So if you don't know, Grenada is just this little island at the southern end of the Caribbean islands near Trinidad, Tobago and the coast of Venezuela. So Grenada was a French colony, then a British colony. And then in the mid 70s, they got independence from Great Britain. In 1974, under the leadership of the prime minister of Grenada, who was the first one, his name was Eric Guerney. I believe that's Guerney. Anyway, he decided they were going to stay a commonwealth and retain Queen Elizabeth as the monarch of the island. Well, in 1979, while he was out of the country, the deputy prime minister, Maurice Bishop, declared himself prime minister and said they were now a communist nation and outlawed all political parties other than his Marxist New Jewel movement. The excitement didn't end there. In 1983, the then deputy prime minister, Bernard Cord, I think, probably pronounced that name wrong again, but backed by the army and his wife, Phyllis, decided to, you know, take charge of the country and arrested Maurice Bishop, who was the prime minister. Well, Bernard and his wife were only in power for five days when the people basically took back power. At the time, Maurice Bishop had a lot of support from the locals, so they marched on his mansion where he was being held, freed him, and then one thing led to another, and the military took him back into custody as part of this ongoing coup and executed him. So this got the attention of the United States, and the United States started looking into it a little more and realized that they had aligned themselves with Nicaragua, who was having their own kind of communist problems at the time, and the Soviet Union and Cuba. It's when the United States realized that they were building a very large airstrip that was big enough for heavy troop transport planes and heavy bombers. The United States wasn't going for it, so we invaded. Old Storman Norman Schwarzkopf was one of the uh, leaders of this invasion. At this point, coup leader 
Bernard decided to tell the United States, no, we just want to turn this into a tropical paradise and have visitors and vacationers, and we're trying to build an airstrip to fit jumbo jets. We weren't buying it, and the invasion went on. This invasion had all the big names in U.S. military. The Marines were involved, Navy SEALs, Army Delta Force, two Ranger battalions, the 82nd Airborne, all the who's who of American military strength in the 1980s. In the end, 19 Americans were killed, 116 wounded. Grenada lost 45 people, 358 wounded. Cuba, who had advisors there, supposedly, they lost 24 and 59 wounded, and they captured 638. And the Soviet Union had two guys wounded, and a whole bunch of Soviet weaponry was captured. 1995, a commuter train slams into a school bus in Fox River Grove, Illinois, killing seven students. That's kind of sad. 2001, Microsoft releases Windows XP, becoming one of Microsoft's most successful operating systems. This was released a year after Windows Millennium Edition, which was freaking horrible. Windows Millennium Edition was just an absolute joke. At least until Windows Vista came out in 2006, then in my opinion, overshadows how bad Millennium Edition was. 2009, a bombing in Baghdad kills 155 and wounds 721 others. Movies released on October 25th, 1978, Halloween. Yes, the original Halloween. One of John Carpenter's best movies. You don't know John Carpenter. He did The Thing, Big Trouble in Little China, Halloween, obviously, Escape from New York, and Starman, which was a great movie. If you don't know anything about it, this was the first installment of the Halloween franchise, featuring serial killer Michael Myers, who terrorizes a fictional town in Illinois. Great movie, very scary. They've all been very interesting. This movie was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress in 2006. It's that big of a deal. They just had the latest installment hit the theaters a couple weeks back, maybe a week or so. But Jamie Lee Curtis, who was in the first one, came back. Born on October 25th, 1881, Pablo Picasso, 20th century painter, sculptor, who co-founded several new styles of art, including constructed sculpture, collage, and the plastic arts. I'm not an art guy, so I don't know what any of that means. But I know who Pablo Picasso is. I'm going to tell you what his real name was, and hold on, it takes a while. Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Juan, and that's where I got to end it because I don't know how to pronounce the rest of these other than Trinidad. I've seen advanced calculus problems that are easier to understand than that man's full name. Died on October 25th, 2017, Fats Domino. Yeah, we lost Fats Domino. French Creole singer-songwriter best known for such hits as Blueberry Hill and The Girl Can't Help It. He amassed five gold records before 1955. He and his family were initially thought to have perished in Hurricane Katrina in 2005 when it wiped out pretty much most of New Orleans. They survived, but most of their possessions were just gone. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a very productive day. Be nice to each other.